What's up guys? Welcome to my channel of MK Tech. My name is Moses and today I have a simple project. It's a footage dubra and it's based on a 55 IC. So it's a very simple circuit. It can be used for low current applications. So here's my battery pack. It's a OS with medium batteries connected in obviously in series. This is an LM7812. This one right here to provide a stable robot for supply to the FFF timer and prevent it from burning out. Uh, here's my multimeter. I have it for to DC measurement. So here I'm, uh, I'll give um, the circuit on the ring description below and also on this video. So, as you can see, it's just a couple of components and it works perfectly. So, I have this of oh, the 72 VC to the reverse 12 volts, the original power supply to the FFF timer. Then, I have this resistor connected across, it's connected across pin 6 and pin 3. Pin 2 and P6 are shortened. Pin 3 is also the output and it's, it's it, the a capacity is connected between pin 3 and the output. I have a diode connected from the positive power supply that is pin 8 then to the positive terminal of this output capacitor and then another diode connected to the positive output of the capacitor then to this final output capacitor which is connected from the positive of the diode the final diode and the cross and and the ground so I have this to 20 km resistor for just discharging the capacitor obviously slowly after the circuit is disconnected and so let's see if it works so I just connect it connect the battery pack so it's connected. Let's first see the, the voltages. So you can see the I'm measuring all the direct batteries voltages and they are turned up to 15.5 volts. And then let's test the voltage supply to the FF timer. It's 10 volts. Yeah, it's 10 volts. Let's test the output voltage now across this capacitor. So I have this jumper from the position of the capacitor to the upper rail of the breadboard. So just plug my probe there. Oh, it's going to cover voltage. And as you can see, measuring 19.9 volts. So the 5 timer is at a voltage of about 10 volts. And the output, as you can see, it's 19.9 volts. So, ideally, it should be 24 volts, but obviously, there are voltage drops due to diodes, two diodes, and other things. Obviously, like if you feed the heavy thermal with 12 volts, it will not deliver an exact 5 12 volts. Yeah, but it works. You can see the output voltage is 19.8 volts. So, the voltage double works just okay. So that, that's it guys, that's the end of my video, and please subscribe to my channel for more interesting projects, videos and facts. Cheers all, and I'll see you next time.